Kia ora guys, Liam here, and in this STEM Hype video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make this, a graphic duplicator. And what it does is it duplicates graphics. Yeah, yeah, check out this cool emoji. So let's get into it. You're going to need some card, some glass. Alternatively, you can use Perspex or a sheet of plastic that might be safer. Handle it with care. You're going to need a pencil, some scissors, some tape and some pens for decorating. Oh, one more thing, you're going to need a ruler. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do, guys, is you need to grab your glass. What we're going to do is we're going to grab some tape and we're going to border it all around this glass. You want to grab the tape of your choice. I'm going to choose uh, blue. And then you're going to tape around the glass so you can be nice and safe. I'm kind of checking it up against the glass to see how long I need the tape and then I'll just snip it. Boom, just like that. So I'm taping it on now, just being nice and careful to be firm. Um, you can use any tape you want, by the way, whether it's sellotape, uh, may not look as pretty, but duct tape works as well. Awesome, we have the first one done, team. All we need to do is do that four times around the corners. Perfect. Now we're gonna grab a piece of card. Black might be really cool. Okay, so what I'm going to do guys, is we're going to measure up a 6 by 6 centimetre square. So this is just for the bases, just so the glass can sit up like that for our graphic duplicator. So I'm going to grab my pencil, I'm going to grab my ruler, I'm going to measure up 6 centimetres. Now if you have a bigger piece of glass guys, that doesn't matter. I'll just scale up the, um, the square a bit bigger, just so it can still hold all the weight. So we've got 6 there. Awesome, now six out. So I'm just measuring six centimeters out and I'm using my pencil to draw the line and then six down. Just take your time for this part guys. Six down, measure it right. Awesome, so I've got this, you may not be able to see it, I've got the square over here and the, which I'm gonna cut out using the scissors. Just make sure to be careful when you're using the scissors, make sure it's always facing out in front of you. Boom. Just like that. This black is gonna look so cool with the blue, I reckon. Awesome, so you guys should now have a square like that. Now we're gonna just chop it in half to make two triangles for the stand. All right, grab your scissors, cutting it out nice and easy, nice and straight, and boom. All right, now what we're gonna do, just to make it real easy, so you know where to put your glass, when you tape it, is you're gonna make some lines from this top corner here, all the way down to the middle down here. So you can use a ruler, just so you have a reference point for where to put your glass. Cool, lines and line, lines and line. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the blue tape and I'm gonna cut out four strips. They're probably just gonna be smaller strips like this size team. Now I'm just gonna cut out four of them right now you can go ahead and do that, being safe with the scissors. Cool, so you should have four strips of tape now, team. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna line up your piece of glass and then you're just gonna flatten the glass down, lie it down on a surface, on a placemat, and then you're gonna grab one of your pieces of tapes. And now since that line's right there, all you're gonna do is tape over the border and then tighten it down using your fingers to really get in there. Boom, that's one side, and now you can just flip it over to the other side like that, and it should still be in line. Grab another piece of tape, and then just chuck it on there, nice and easy like that. This just makes it a bit more easy to move, and it makes it foldable like this, so now you can take it places and show your friends. All right, now all we need to do is do that for the other side. So how this works, guys, is we see things because they reflect light. Now the light is shining down into the paper, which is reflecting into the glass, which is reflecting back into my eyes, so I can see this emoji on this side of the paper. How cool is that? And now all I need to do is grab a sharpie or a pen, and then just trace along. This is gonna be so cool. Everyone will be surprised and be like, whoa, you can actually draw, and you'll be like, yeah, I can draw. What are you talking about? It's so cool. Easy as. Look at that, and look at that. How cool is that? This is your graphic duplicator, guys. And what an awesome reminder a graphic duplicator is. 
that when you're finding it hard to be positive, you can reflect on a time that makes you smile and find a sense of gratitude. So there you have it guys, graphic duplicators, foldable stands, easy to take, show your friends, share it around, um, give them ideas, and yeah, get hyped.